Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a numbers cake. I have never done a numbers cake before, so this is my first time. And it is for my sister. She is turning 35. And I wanted to go ahead and bake her a cute little numbers cake that we have been seeing through TikTok and Instagram. So, <laughs> I went to Party City and I was like, I'm going to decorate the table and I'm just going to make everything look super cute. And my idea was to just buy some balloons and just like a happy birthday banner. But you guys, when I walked in, I saw that they had a section that is for Sweet Sixteens. And I was like, how funny would it be if she came home from work and the house was decorated as if she was turning 16. So I was like, that's what we're going to do. So I bought some decorations. So let me show you guys. This is so funny. <laughs> so I got this. Um, it says happy. And then you just put like the age and birthday. So I'm going to put happy 16th birthday. And then some plates that say Sweet 16. And a Sweet 16 tablecloth. And what else? What else? Oh, <laughs> Sweet 16 candles. And last but not least, some balloons. So we are just going to decorate the table and with her cake and then all this stuff on it. And I was thinking like I should do a uh, number 16 as her cake, but my mom was like, no, don't do that. Do her real age just in case she wants to take pictures next to the cake. So I was like, all right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing a numbers cake and the number is going to be 35. But before we get into it. I did want to thank every single one of you guys who have been watching my videos and who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am in shock to see how many people are watching my um, How I Study the Bible video. Like, wow. It's, it's crazy. It's an honor. And it's amazing to see God working through this channel and blessing other people. I'm just mind blown. I can't even, can't even believe that it has the amount of views that it has. When I first started this channel, I remember thinking, who wants to watch me? <laughs> like, I'm not that entertaining. Like, I'm just a normal girl living a normal life. But the only reason that I decided to keep this channel was because I wanted to spread God's word. I wanted to spread the good news and just share everything that God has taught me throughout the years. So I am so happy to see that it's actually happening and people are watching the video and I hope it's a, a lot of blessing to your life and that it's helping you guys tremendously. But thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you guys who have watched my videos and who have subscribed to my channel. I hope this channel is of much blessing to you. I hope it brings you joy, I hope it teaches you God's word and it motivates you to seek God before anything in this world because he is the only reason that we are here today. Our God is loving and our God is faithful. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So I started off with a baked and chilled cake. I baked it in a 12 inch pan and now I am going to trace out the numbers using my number stencils. Um, I bought this off of Amazon and I am using the eight inch size. They do have a lot of different sizes. So I just needed a small cake. So eight inches would feed us perfectly and there would still be cake left over. So eight inches, um, I believe can feed around 10 people comfortably. Now in the process of baking this cake, there was mistakes that were made. So this was my first time baking a numbers cake and of course I made some mistakes and I'm just going to share them here with you guys to help you avoid making these mistakes. So the first mistake that I made was I realized that I did not bake enough cake. So for these numbers cakes you do want your cake to be thick. 
Um, you cannot bake it too thin because you're going to slice it in the middle because you need two layers and you don't want the bottom layer to be too thin or the top layer so you just want to make sure that you bake enough cake so that when you slice it in the middle you'll have enough cake for the bottom layer and the top layer and here you will see how my bottom layers were super thin also another mistake that i made was that i did not make sure that my cake baked evenly on both sides so one side of my cake was baked perfect the thickness was great and the other side of the cake was too thin so here we can tell that the cake is not baked evenly and there is some parts that are thick and some parts that are thinner So here's the perfect example of what I am talking about. When you slice the cake down the middle, you do not want your bottom layer to be super thin. So here mine was. So just an FYI, if you decide to make this cake, make sure you're baking enough cake so that your cake is nice and thick. So I am going to be making a Tres Leches cake. That is my family's favorite. So I am just soaking the cake in the three milks, which is whole milk, condensed milk, and evaporated milk. All right, now for mistake number two. I frosted my cake using whipped cream, and this day it was extremely hot. It was around 100 degrees. So... Of course, my whipped cream melted immediately. So my recommendation is to make sure your whipped cream is very cold. That way it is not so runny and it is nice and firm. That way it'll hold up better for you during transportation and also during decorating. And if you are going to transport this cake, another tip would be to make sure you refrigerate or put the cake in the freezer for a couple of minutes, at least I would say 10 to 20 minutes. That way your whipped cream is nice and firm and it will not melt on you during transportation. filling I just went ahead and chopped up some strawberries and filled the middle of the cake so now I am just gonna apply the top layer of the cake and I am gonna start to soak the top layer with the Tres Leches milks. And here I am just poking some holes into the top layer. That way I can make sure the top layer of the cake is nice and soaked.
just gonna start dipping some strawberries into my white chocolate and adding some sprinkles or some luster dust just to decorate it and make it look super cute and stand out for the cake. And this is when I realized that the cake was probably not going to make it in one piece to my sister's house. So the strawberries were sliding off because of the weight and how soft my whipped cream had gotten. Um, it was so hot this day that even the inside of my house was hot with the air conditioner on. So I do highly recommend you guys that if it's really hot where you are at and you want to try this cake just please make sure to have your whipped cream nice and firm you will save yourself a headache so here is the final result of the cake with some imperfections but it did make it intact and for it to be my first numbers cake i am pretty satisfied with the results happy birthday Did you think we had forgotten? Yes. <laughs> I thought I didn't care about how many water. You like your cake? Yeah. What is it? Tres leches. Aww. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday to you. One. No. Let me, let me make my wish. Okay. Oh, yeah.